Hello, uh, my name is Mark. I'm the occupational therapist here at the MDA ALS Center of Hope in Philadelphia. Uh, today we're working with Linda. Linda has some weakness in her hand. We're going to fabricate a splint today to help her with the functional use of her dominant right hand. Let's take a look at Linda's hand. You can see she has some weakness in her thumb. Her thumb is um, is uh, not in the ideal position for any type of functional pinch. Go ahead and try to pinch your index finger to your thumb. So today we're going to fabricate a splint to make that better. Something else that Linda has brought to my attention is that she has some wrist weakness. So appropriate splinting today would include uh, wrist support as well. Try to hold your wrist thumb. So we'll support her wrist in the splint today. The first step is to make a splint pattern. So we're going to move this hand over, make our splint pattern. Now we're going to cut out the splint pattern. We are going to try pattern on Linda. See if that's okay. Now we're going to place a piece of stockinette on Linda to protect her skin because the slip material is warm. There's a hole here for your thumb. Now we're going to draw the splint pattern onto the splinting material. And now we're going to cut it out. and place it into the warm water. Okay, now we'll form the splint on the window. It's a little bit warm, so we try to be careful. Just hold your next finger right there for me. A 
as I feel. That's okay. That's good. So we'll just let this get hard now. It takes a couple of seconds for displaying material to, uh, to get hard. Okay, we're going to apply Velcro hook now with the adhesive back. Now we'll apply the straps to secure the splint in place. And Linda will demonstrate a good functional pinch. I love this because I'm able to write my name. It's <laughs> take me a little more time to learn how to do that, but that is great. But also, this is giving my wrist stability, so I don't fear that I'm going to break it. You know, what by falling or something. This giving me strength, so it's, I'm excited about it. That's great. So if you're home and you find you have weakness in your wrist and your fingers and you're fearful you might hurt yourself or frustrated that you're having a hard time using your hand, you may find that splitting may help you.